Hey YouTube, uh, my name's Nick. I just want to kind of talk to you a little bit um, about dyslexia. Uh, I was diagnosed with dyslexia, I think, when I was about a freshman in high school. Um, before then, I was diagnosed with um, central auditory processing, which basically means, you know, you're slow at reading, and then later on I was diagnosed with dyslexia. Um, I kind of want to talk to you, just give you some tips you know, that I've kind of found that work over the years. I know a lot of people try to tell you, you know, this will work or this will work. And, you know, I've tried them and, you know, I found what works for me, you know, someone that's actually dyslexic compared to, you know, people that maybe aren't dyslexic and think that they might work. Uh, right now I'm a freshman in college, uh, majoring in mechanical engineering. So that's kind of something that, you know, shows that, you know, these do work. Or at least I've found that they work. Um, the first one that is... Uh, flashcards. Love flashcards. Not the apps. The apps on the App Store, I've tried to use them and they do not work at all. Uh, there's something about writing down, you know, writing that, actually writing the definition down, you know, and then writing the word and then going through them. Something about that, you know, it just clicks in my brain because for me, you know, really short term, you know, memory, I can read something, you know, you ask me about it a minute later and I'll completely forget, you know, that. That goes along with reading a book, too. You know, I can read a page. Page may make sense perfectly to me as soon as I get done reading it. You come back, you know, three pages down, they're like, what happened two pages ago? I'm just like, uh, I don't remember. So, you know, flashcards are great. You know, just keep going through them. You know, you don't need to sit there and go through them for two hours till you know them. You know, go through them a couple times. Stop, go do something else. You know, go through them again works great. You know, I do that along, I'm also a pilot, you know, I want to be a pilot when I get older, have my pilot's license now, I do that as well, you know, I write down the definition, you know, define it, put it on a flashcard, go back through it, and it, it just works so well. Um, another one is highlighting. I know a lot of times teachers will tell you, you know, read chapter, you know, one, section one, and take notes. And I'm like, so I read a paragraph, take some notes, and then I'm like, well, I got the notes, but I have absolutely no idea what I just read. Instead, you know, reading and highlighting, highlighting takes like no time at all, you know, and then you read, you can actually understand what the section or the concept's going on in that section, and then after that, you can go back through with your highlights and you can take notes, and that really, really helps. I do that in chemistry now, and that makes a big difference for me to highlight. Um, and the last one is having someone actually read it out loud to you. I know it's kind of difficult to have someone, you know, read a book out loud to you or something along those lines, but it could be something as simple as, you know, read this paragraph for me. This paragraph's really difficult. Can you just read this one paragraph? And then read the paragraph. It makes perfect sense. I know my parents used to do that for me all the time when I was in high school, and that was great. Um, they also did that a lot with direction, directions um, on homework. And I really, really like that. There's also software out there, uh, excuse me, software out there that you can uh, download and get, and it'll read it to you. Um, it's pretty good. I've used it, and I like it. It works well when you're trying to read, you know, full sections like in textbooks or uh, novels or something along those lines. Those are really, really helpful. Um, the computer voice can be annoying sometimes, but you know, you get used to it. But those are just three tips that, you know, I found that worked. And, uh, yeah, so I'll definitely be coming back with you guys. I also have a lot of software. I have a lot of, you know, actual hardware as well, headphones, uh, noise-canceling headphones. Um, I also have flip-throughs that, you know, have a lot of gra uh, grammatical stuff that I use a lot when it comes to writing because obviously, uh, writing is a, a lot of times associated with dyslexia or difficulty in writing. So I'll definitely come back with more videos and uh, just you know, rate and uh, subscribe and let me know if these videos are actually helpful. See ya.